this video we'll be seeing how to manage video view on android after finishing the build go to resources layout activity main.xml file change the main layout to linear and let's add a video view inside a frame layout now inside the frame layout let's add a video view Now give the video view an ID. Now that's all in the layout part. Now go to Java. Create an object for video view. Initialize the video view. Now create an object for media controller. Now set the media player. Now set the media controller for the video view. Now set the video URI. Now this will load the video from the internet from this URL and instead if you want to load it from the a folder then just go to Android resource directory and add a row now inside this folder you can copy any video and just paste it there now you can load this file in the video view for that change the url to Now this will call the video from the raw folder. Now this is showing this error. If this occurs to you, then just go to the build and click clean project. Then after that, go to the files and click invalidate cache and restart. Now after invalidating the cache and restarting the IDE, we can see that the error is gone. Now this happens 
uh, almost every time with Android Studio. So if this happens, just go to files and click invalidate cache and restart. So now this is how you can run a video from the within from within the folders of Android your Android app. Now I don't recommend this to load huge video files. Instead, if you have small intros or something like that, you can use this method. Uh, now let's run the application and see. Now this error occurred because actually you cannot add any capital letters for the video names. So just go to the refractor and rename it to I'm just renaming it to video. Now that's all. Now just run it. Now you can see the video player is ready and when you press the play button, the video plays. You can see that. Now you can also automatically start it by tapping video view dot start. Now if you have to load this video from a from internet, you have to add go to manifest and add an user permission for internet. And also add this to true. Now this is in case you are using HTTP connection. So that's all. Now change this to the video URL. Now this is my video URL. Now that's all. Now you can start it run the application now you can see the video is played from the URL that is provided so hope you understand how to set video view on Android now using this method you could load video within from the application itself and also from the internet if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos